Attention all students, be sure you are wearing a mask and maintaining social distancing while at school. Update from Cafeteria, every student can now receive free breakfast and lunch daily. The yearbook fundraiser information went out last week. Earn $6 off your yearbook for each item you sell. Sell 9 items and earn a free yearbook. Orders and money are due November 3rd. Sophomore class will be collecting bottles and cans to recycle as a fundraiser. There should be a box in each classroom to put your bottle or can in. You can also donate by dropping off bottles and cans to Southside Redemption Center in Jamestown, New York. Be sure to tell them you are donating to Eisenhower sophomore class. If you are dropping off, make sure to separate cans from bottles. Also, check to make sure they have the mark to recycle. Seniors, check your email. The forms link is open until next Friday to vote for your class song, motto, quote, flower, and colors. Any 9th through 12th grader interested in Battle of the Books, please scan the QR code outside the library and sign up. See Miss Walter if you can't scan the code. She has a device you can borrow. The playoff football game is today. See the main office to purchase a ticket of $8. Anyone who attends must buy a ticket in advance. The game starts at 7. Good luck. Mental Health Minute with Maya and Lydia. This week's Mental Health Minute, we will be talking about some yoga poses that will help with anxiety. Regular yoga practice can help you stay calm and relaxed in daily life. Yoga practice ideally includes a complete package of body posture, breathing techniques, and meditation, all of which has helped several anxiety patients recover and face life with new positivity and strength. This is our model, Bridget Gorley, and for our first pose, we are starting off with the tree pose. The next pose is the eagle pose. Next up is the yogi squat. Last but not least is the shoulder stand. That's all for this week's Mental Health Minute. We hope these poses encourage you to try yoga on your own. Now on to Halloween night walking. Dylan and Wyatt here with another segment of night walking. We're gonna ask Donnie, when was Halloween first celebrated in America? I'm gonna have to say 1962. 1840s. Nice try though. All right, great, Donna. How many pumpkins do you think are carved annually for Halloween? It's just me. I don't know. 1.7 billion. We're here at the Squire's very own Miss Hal. Miss Hal, do you know what the most popular Halloween movie is? Um, Hocus Pocus. Close. The Nightmare Before Christmas. Ooh, really? That's not a Christmas movie? Okay. Nightmare Before Christmas, I'm guessing. That's what the internet said. Interesting. Hi, Raina. Can you tell us how much the world's largest pumpkin weighs? I don't know. 2,350 pounds. Now, on to your football update. Y'all ready for this? Friday night. 7 o'clock p.m. Playoff game against the West Middlesex Big Reds. Here, the Squire has an interview with senior quarterback Owen Trumbull, who led his team to an undefeated 7-0 record. So, and by the game, what are your strategies for beating this opponent? Uh, well, we just got to go in there and do what we've been doing all season, play our hearts out every single minute of the game. Got to block up front, make some athletic plays in the backfield, and then defense, as always, you just got to play hard. So, uh, who are the players to watch? Uh, for Eisenhower, honestly, probably the whole team, just because, I don't know, we play together as a family, and that's what, all you can ask for, right, Logan? Yep, all you can ask for. Mm -hmm. So, they have a playmaker, number 17. What are our plans to contain him? Oh, well, we're going to put a QB spy on him and just make sure that that guy mirrors him wherever he goes so he doesn't scramble because he's pretty fast. I think you should know that, right, Logan? Pretty fast, yeah. Oh, yeah. Kind of a dual threat athlete, if I do say so myself. Exactly, exactly. We've got to keep him contained. What's at stake for this upcoming game? Uh, well, we got to win this game so we can go to the D10 championship and then win that and bring another one home to here to Eisenhower. I'm signing off. Logan Abbott. That's all for this afternoon's announcement. Stay classy, Eisenhower. Focus! <laughs>
Do you want me to stop it? You asked two questions, bro. <laughs> His name's actually Noah, by the way. Yeah. That's a lot of pumpkins. <laughs> Bye, Noah. <laughs>